Yeah. 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 Uh, Jordan, did you, you know, did you think about it going into that last at bat? Did you know you had a yeah, chance to say? Yeah, I've been asked this. Uh, I, I knew. I knew um, my, my, my fourth at bat, but I didn't change my approach or anything. So, yeah, I knew. What, uh, just, what does that mean to you to get something like that down? It's Man, incredibly rare. I, uh, I, I don't really know what to say. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I had one this summer. I was lucky enough to have one this summer. Never thought that would ever happen again at any level. And... The quality of pitches we face today makes it even greater because those guys were studs and um, it's special. I'll remember it yeah, the rest of my life for sure. What, uh, just take us through that at bat. I mean, you fall behind 0 2 on that one. I guess he just hung you a curveball, but what all just happened in that? Yeah, the first two pitches were nasty. I mean, those, those were really, really sharp breaking balls and I looked stupid. I, I didn't slow my bat down, I just swung right through them. Then he elevated a fastball, I saw it well, and then he came back with a hanger and it was right in my bat path and I just tried to take a free and easy swing like Nick always reminds me to do. And, you know, it got out of there for me. So. Did you know it was out as soon as you? Put yeah, it I knew it was out. I never liked to. I think, I guess pimping them is kind of disrespectful. So I never tried to do that, but I, I had a good feeling it was getting out of the yard. What the, obviously that inning starts with you know two outs and everything like that. You've already had your fourth at bat. Did you think you were going to get another shot at it? Basically, um, I didn't know. But when Benny got walked, I looked at Zerk, our a director of ops, and I said, you know, with this club, two outs means nothing. So when Benny got on, I mean, there was no doubt I was hopefully going to have another at bat. And when I got it. I just try to stick with a good approach. I mean, the, the one through five, the red whole lineup, but the, the one through five, the three through five, those guys are unbelievable. So I couldn't be more thankful to have them in the lineup with me. I guess take us through the first couple of bats, basically. Obviously, in, in each of those cases, come up with guys on and manage to drive them in. Uh, just what happened on each of those, basically? The first at bat, he got ahead of the fastball. He was throwing pretty hard. And he threw me a breaking ball. I didn't get fooled, but I was a little out in front. I kept my hands through it and knocked it, knocked it to right field. And then... Next at bat, I had a good feeling I was getting the first pitch fastball, and, and I got it. So I, I stayed short, didn't do too much, got that one. Third at bat, he uh, went first pitch hanger. He hung me a curveball, and I saw it right out of his hand. Tried to take a free and easy swing, and I got it. And then, like you said, the home run. So, my, you know, I'm just trying to say they'll hit the ball and swing at quality pitches. So that's been my problem lately, is swinging at bad pitches. So, Have you ever had, like, an a and RBI game before? <sighs> well, yeah. Like the one I, I told you, the, the cycle I had this summer, I had nine, but... With all the, the RBIs and stuff, that in itself, I could keep saying, that's not a, any reflection of me. It's just having an opportunity, so. What uh, you guys obviously get back to, you being the five holy, everybody kind of moves back into their sort of, I guess what's become sort of your natural spots. What's worked out so well since you guys put Benito at, at back, you know, just in that real hole and moving everybody back? Right, uh, when Moberg got hurt, um, I didn't realize it until about two or three games into it. Moving up one, one slot, it changed a lot. I don't know why. I can't really even explain it to you, but it didn't feel the same. Not as much opportunities for Nick, um, B Jack. I don't, it just wasn't the same feel. And Nick, and Nick pointed out to me the next game. He said, "Man, I hope we can go back to three, four, five. And he kind of talked to AT. And finally, being back in for the last few games, being back three, four, five. I just, you know, Nick Senzel is an unbelievable player. B Jack's an unbelievable player. Both, the both selfless. You know, both great teammates. And when you have Benny getting on base, Chris Hall just finding holes. And then those two guys in front of me getting on base, it's, it's, I, I love it. I love being in the five hole, having opportunities, and, and I'm thankful for the, the teammates that I do have before and after me. So How um, unique is it to have a guy like Benito as a catcher in the early down spot who can, who can leg out triples and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, he's faster than me, and he's older than me too. But no, I, just you know, having Benito, he's a great player, great athlete, and it's, he's taken great at bats. He's, he's never really been a leadoff, but having him being a catcher, that's unique, so proud of him. Obviously, like you said, it speaks for the team, but... After today, you have as many RBIs as Stewie finished with last year. How, how nuts is that? That's nuts, yeah. I don't really even know what to say because Stewie is, I mean, he's unbelievable. But that just speaks volumes to the way this lineup is meshing and the trust we have in each other, the trust I have in my the coaches and the teammates. So uh, I'm having the most fun I've ever had playing the game and with the best group of guys. I mean, you know, one of the best group of guys I've ever been around. And I, I love each and every one of them. And when we're playing for each other, it, it's – it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. How about Aaron tonight? Also to step into the role like he did. Oh, man. Seven yeah, I always mess with Aaron because, you know, he's, he's just such an uh, outgoing, goofy guy. And I think the last two outings, you've seen what, what, I'm, what I'm saying. I mean, he's being himself, talking to himself, dancing on the mound, and trusting his stuff. He did it last summer. He did it all this fall. And to see him finally coming into his own and trusting what he's got – and going to work, knowing that he's got nine guys behind him, you know, busting their butt for him, it's it's great. And he's a 
he's a great pitcher, and I, and I couldn't be more proud for him and of him. So, Jordan, how big was it uh, in that in that eighth inning to immediately answer those those five runs for Ole Miss? What does that say about this team? Oh, that says a lot. I wasn't surprised at all. I know, I know, it's easy to be surprised when you get smacked in the mouth with the five spot, and I feel like it happened quick. You know, before I knew it, they had five runs, but. To, like Coach Serrano said, to respond the way we did, I'm not surprised, but it just creates so much momentum going into tomorrow. You know, to be able to respond with a punch, uh, respond to a punch with a punch like that, that, that speaks volumes to our lineup and our team. It's a Kentucky team that came back and, and won games two and three against Florida last weekend. How do you, you know, change your approach? What do you tell the guys going into tomorrow's game in order to keep the foot on the gas? Yeah, the most important, I've said this before, the most important game in baseball is the next game. You know, this one's great. It, it felt great. We played great, but it doesn't matter come tomorrow. They're a good club. You know, they've already beaten two, won two series from two good clubs, and and their pitchers are good. They got a good lineup. So we just got to keep control what we can control and we can compete. I want to go back real quick to the home run, basically. When you come, you know, come off the sure. plate, come on the dugout, basically, what's everybody saying to you? What you kind of hear from the guy? Oh, man. I don't know, to be honest. You know, I crossed home plate. I feel like I got in the box and then I'm here now, you know. <laughs> I don't really even, in between is, is blank. I don't know what happened. But yeah, just saying they're proud of me and, and they couldn't, you know. But uh, just just selfless, man. They just they're just happy. They're happier than I am, and that just it, it speaks volumes. And I love each and every one of them. All right, thank you guys.